and gentlemen, once again, MITV is pleased to be able to introduce you to a very fine artist, the painter Nina Nolte. Nina Nolte, welcome to MITV Studios. And uh, we are very much looking forward to know a little bit more about you, about your work. But first of all, let's find out how we can address you. Where do you come from? Do you like to be kind of associated as a painter from a district uh, or... I mean, I know you speak fluent German, you flu uh, speak fluent Spanish, English. Can you tell us a little bit about where you really come from and what made you to come here? Well, I'm a gypsy. All right, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a bit hard to tell because I was born somewhere else where I grew up and where I'm living now. Uh, let's make it short. I was born in Central America in the Republic of El Salvador. I lived there for about two years and then we moved to Germany and from there, when I had the age of about seven, uh, we moved to Spain and there I grew up and I, I lived there for uh, maybe nine years. I, I think we left when I was 16 and we lived in Barcelona and I feel very Spanish. I think this is the most important time of the childhood from uh, 7 to 16 where you, 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 um, you actually develop into, yes, into yes. a person. Yes, I feel very Spanish mm -hmm. and also I, I also have Spanish, uh, Spanish grandmother mm -hmm. and... Perhaps that's the reason yeah. why you came down to Morbella yeah. then? Yes. And why not Barcelona then? Uh, well, that's uh, something different. I, I like the Andalusian very much and I and like the, the sun and the weather and the nice people here. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, as we already discussed, I found out that you you are here just a very, very short time. Mm -hmm. uh, but already you have got so much success and so much uh, recognition here, which was not even anticipated by yourself. Um, we talked about it and you said you found already a gallerist who is representing you. Mm -hmm. full-time more or less, mm -hmm. and who has got extremely a success here mm -hmm. of finding clients for your work. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not a secret, it's the gallery for, of Fabian Frey Friends mm -hmm. in the Marbella Club Hotel. Mm -hmm. He uh, previously had a gallery in Puerto mm -hmm. and moved now in the, into the Marbella Club Hotel. Mm -hmm. Now, how did you meet Fabian? And can you explain a little bit about that? Well, I met him about uh, one and a half years ago, I think, or two years yes. ago, I can't uh, remember. And then we, we spoke uh, and we talked, well, I told him about my exhibitions, I showed him photos and whatever. This developed slowly and uh, all of a sudden we decided to make, to make uh, an exhibition which was last year mm -hmm. in May. We have not had a nice exhibition. And oh, th that's where the catalogue comes from. Yes, um, yes, yes. And all yeah, the catalogue yeah. is mm -hmm. actually edited by Fabian Friends Gallery in Marbella. Yes, Marbella. yes, mm -hmm. but with the help of uh, with the help of the sponsor, Hispano Commerzbank. Ah. I hope I can uh, sponsors yes, also down sp here sponsored this exhibition and the catalogue and whatever. But Commerzbank seems to me like a German bank. It sounds yeah. very German. Uh, it's uh, the Hispano Commerce Bank in Gibraltar. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is that perhaps also the reason that you found a sponsor and that you found a gallerist that uh, to settle down here permanently? Mm, no. 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 But you have because to because I'm I'm working still working with the, the galleries I used uh -huh. to work with uh, when I was living in Germany. We uh, before moving here we lived right. in Munich. And uh, this goes all on with the German galleries, or in France, I also have a gallery and, and I'm exposing. And well, in, in later on, okay, I will we'll tell talk you about that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> now, Fabian Friends Gallery, it's we have got also f um, film made mm -hmm. already and shows you going into the gallery and explaining your work, and not even explaining, but we could, we could uh, film mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And um, tell us a little bit about the gallery. It seemed to me a very optimal and a very professional surrounding mm -hmm. for your work. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you feel? Are you going there and let him do all the, the uh, introduction to the clients or the hanging, as we all say? Now, tell me a little bit, what, how do you work practically with him when you bring your uh, paintings to him? Well, I'm not only working with Fabien, I'm yeah. also working with Patricia. Patricia, uh, well she's Spanish and she's really great, she's working there in the uh -huh. gallery and uh, 
Well, we we are good friends now, all three, and or all four, all four whatever. And um, I think the, the gallery is really fine, and Fabien is a really good gallerist. He um, uh, is now trading with art since uh, I don't know, maybe uh, 13 he's years. Mm -hmm. He's quite young, and uh, he started dealing with work when he was 15, already in his school in Switzerland. Uh -huh. He started uh, buying work and mm -hmm. selling and whatever, and went to all art fairs. And he's very, very uh, well informed about art. Right. Yeah. We're talking about sponsors. You had a sponsor for that exhibition and uh, for the catalogue as well at mm -hmm. Fabian Friends. Is that the first time you were sponsored or your work was sponsored or your exhibition was sponsored for you here definitely in, in Marbella, but was it the first time for you where you come from in Munich mm -hmm. lately? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Or what can you tell us about that? No, it's not my first sponsorship or the first first company which sponsored me. I already had uh, a couple of sponsorships. The first one was in '95, two years ago. I've had a very big and nice exhibition in Berlin, and I've been sponsored there by two German big, well-known companies, which is Mercedes-Benz and Lufthansa. They're very well known. And yeah, <laughs> really, and this was a very nice exhibition. It uh, took place and the house of Mercedes-Benz in the main house in uh, Berlin and um, there were a lot of, of people who came to this exhibition and uh, it was really a very very nice exhibition with a lot of people and it was also sponsored by um, Holiday Inn. Uh, they had a nice surprise when uh, they uh, had this exhibition. Um, Lufthansa and Mercedes-Benz invited uh, the people by uh, was uh, everybody had uh, had his uh, own uh, invitation card. Lufthansa had had a plane on it because I like very much also technical things, and I had a painting exposed on, on this exhibition with a, um, uh, an old um, uh, plane of mm -hmm. the fifties, a uh, super constellation, and uh, I also had another painting which showed uh, Mercedes Benz at three hundred S. A uh, very nice car, and uh, those two paintings suddenly were presented to me or given for me as a as a present of to everybody in, in form of a very big cake, which they uh, brought into the room when the exhibition was, when the I don't know four or five hundred people were. Event. It was enormous. Yes. Uh, you have to imagine a one by two meters big cake mm -hmm. showing both paintings. Mm. with sugar in the <laughs> colors it was so amazing the people were staring there with big eyes like i did it yeah, was the very, so nice. very first artist who could eat that paint. yeah it was really good but no the, no, the cake take was too too sweet too, too sweet, too sweet. <laughs> and then the second uh, was uh, one year later also with Lufthansa and daimler benz it was an exhibition in washington dc in the university club and it um, was really nice. And actually, you already exhibited and were sponsored not only in Europe, but in America. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, yeah. Then yeah. you are a world traveling and world exhibiting painter. Yeah, I like, to, I like to travel. And it was funny because uh, the man from Mercedes-Benz, he was first working in, in Berlin, mm -hmm. then he moved to, to Washington, and then he had the idea to have another exhibition uh -huh. because he liked it very much and was a big success to present my paintings in Washington. And besides in Washington. Your, your exhibitions which were sponsored, mm -hmm. do, you, do you also have or had uh, a lot of cooperations with other galleries in Europe or in America, as you said, and also had exhibitions when when, when mm -hmm. he hears about a painter, mm -hmm. he has got a single exhibition or a group mm -hmm. exhibition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what was actually your background, your last couple of years, on exhibitions and on um, single exhibitions and, and uh, mm -hmm. group exhibitions mm -hmm. and galleries? Mm, well, I have um, here a gallery I'm working with since 93 in Madrid, for example. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice gallery. And uh, they have made a couple of exhibitions um, with me, well, single and individual, as you call, and uh, 
uh, collective uh, exhibitions, and I've uh, had an exhibition with them, with, uh, which was called Spanish Painters. Um, all the painters of the gallery were represented or were showing their paintings in the Fine Art mm -hmm. Museum in uh, La Valletta in Malta. And uh, Malta. Malta. Yeah, it was really nice, nice thing. I couldn't uh, be there personally, but we had a lot of um, press and even TV was showing right, the, right. the exhibition was really nice. And that was in Madrid? And, uh, um, the, the gallery from Madrid mm -hmm. uh, showed paintings. Are represented by a gallery in Madrid? Yeah, and right. we are you represented by anybody in Germany? Yes, I have we a live. gallery I'm working with in Munich, uh -huh. and I have a uh, art dealer in, in Berlin, and, and um, I'm working with a gallery in Strasbourg. Uh, it's quite an empire you build up here. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's amazing. Really and they still keep on uh, exhibiting me or oh, asking yes. what for paintings. And it's no problem for you to operate now from here no, with all the people? No, not at all. Not no. at all, because it's, it's the same. But, right. well, it doesn't matter. If I'm painting, at first I was painting in uh, Munich and was sending the paintings to whatever in Europe or uh, to the United States or even uh, to mm -hmm. Buenos Aires. Uh, I, I sold something there. To, to, to Argentina, um, it's, it doesn't matter, you can either, you can also live here in, in Marbella, yeah. and the, the weather is much nicer, and the sun, and what, well, I don't have to tell you, you know, right. why you're living here, huh? Okay. <laughs> so. Before we now come more, well, before we want to talk more mm -hmm. about your, really, were your paintings, mm -hmm. um, there's the last question I have, um, everybody, especially an artist, is kind, uh, kind of inspired or led to or introduced to, to what he wants to do. I mean, who brought you to the idea that you want to paint? Mm -hmm. It could be your parents or grandparents or friend or what. But tell us a little bit how you actually discovered, I want to be a painter. Because as far as you told me, you are more an, an, auto, an, an autodidact, mm -hmm. a more mm -hmm. self-taught mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. painter than one painter who had to go or wanted to go through many uh, academies and mm -hmm. schoolings and um, colleges. Mm -hmm. who, how did you come to where you are now? Well, I always wanted to be a painter, to be honest. I think um, painting is also, um, well, it's in our family. I've, um, my grandfather, he was a really nice painter, but just for personal mm, Thing. He was a doctor, but he painted very nicely. And what the Germans are nicely called Sonntags about? No, 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 no. I have a portrait. The only thing which is uh, s still here, the right. all the other things are what? Well. Okay, and um, I always like to paint, and I like to paint more than write. What was always my my favorite thing, also in school. And I think I have to thank uh, thank very much to a teacher that I became a painter because he uh, like uh, wake, woke up this uh, interest yes. in everything in me and um, his name is uh, Horst Schlegel, uh, he was a very very good teacher in the school in Barcelona, the German school I went to and he was a lovely painter. We're talking normal schooling, primary school. Yeah, secondary school. normal, normal mm -hmm. school and mm -hmm. I had him like a teacher and we all loved him and um, I think he wa I was one of his uh, favorite uh, pupils and he was really great. He was, uh, maybe I, I, I see him, I, I'd love to see him and see what, how his life went on. He mm -hmm. must be 15 years older than me. And, uh, right. He's still but he alive. was the one who really gave like you not an old man. Yes, yeah, he helped you to really realize what yes, you wanted to yes, do. Yes, 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 because he, he saw, he mm -hmm. saw um, that I could, could be a painter, I think, and mm -hmm. he helped me a lot. Right. And Thank you. 
a lot about you as a successful mm -hmm. artist from the business side. Now, of course, we want to know really much more about your work, mm -hmm. your paintings. Mm -hmm. um, every paint, of course, wants to, that's what we think, uh, will kind of express its moods, its feelings in a painting. It's probably mm -hmm. right to say that. Mm -hmm. It could be that some are so technically that they just do it mm -hmm. without having any emotions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but when we filmed all your uh, paintings in the Fabian Friends Gallery, mm -hmm. I couldn't, uh, I, I couldn't help to see two different kind of work in what you were presenting. Mm -hmm. There's first one which you call so nicely chicos. Mm -hmm. There are paintings which are charming, mm -hmm. and in its charmness, also very serious. And uh, remind me perhaps a little bit of Miro, but mm -hmm. that is, that's something which I might be wrong. But it's very lively, very positive, mm -hmm. and I was very taken with them. Mm -hmm. And you call them chicos. Now, why do you call them chicos? Well, why? I call them Chicos. I think it's a nice name. Mm -hmm. Chicos means um, uh, guy or kid or but they don't are not uh, children. They are like like us. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are the child and the the grown up or whatever. Is that the reason why you put like those little munchkins we can say or little figures in in the mm -hmm. paintings mm -hmm. has got any relevance to your life or to what you experience i'm not a serious person although i might look like a serious person yes. uh, well i think um, it's like two souls living in your in mm -hmm. your breast and your heart i don't know but you, you told me uh, yeah. before we came here a charming uh, anecdote about a little teddy bear or oh yeah now, and you said that influenced you to do that kind of positive painting. Yeah, uh, in a give us a little bit of Yeah, you, you're talking about Schmauns. Um, yeah, that's um, uh, quite a sad story because uh, this is, was a tiny, uh, maybe this big, um, light blue, hand crouched, uh, warm um, teddy bear which I made about I mean, 15 years ago now and had him for 11 years and he was my kind of mascot. I ever, I always had with me. He, he, he has seen so much already of his, mm -hmm. of the world, and he was uh, one of my, my favorite models. Yeah, he was was really fun when I painted him. I always would sell the painting immediately after having painted him because he looked so nice, and I had him for a long time, maybe eleven years, and everybody liked him. And about two years ago, I. I um, I lost him at the airport of Malaga. Oh, he nice. fell out of my rucksack and uh, was very sad. We lo looked for him in newspapers and um, in yeah. the report even, and I draw, made paintings and drawings and whatever. Looking uh, after him, I didn't find him. So if somebody has schmons, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a tiny cro uh, hand crouch uh, teddy bear with a, how do you call this, cap blue? Just a cap? Yeah. With a shield on it? Yeah, a shield cap uh, with a nice... Uh, uh, Pantalones? Uh, yes, uh, trousers and whatever, and even uh, tie. Yeah. Uh, please give him back to me <laughs> and I will give you, I tell you, a very, very nice portrait of him. Okay, well, that's, <laughs> a, that's, a, that's a good offer, I would say. Yeah. I yeah. hope I find you, little yeah. teddy bear. And then I'm, nice. I'm getting the portrait, I hope so. <laughs> right. Yeah, right, now we are certainly able now to see a couple of uh, the so-called Chico paintings of Nina uh, before we go into her second kind of work style. your chicos mm -hmm. and uh, then on the other side from in my in my 
very simple way of, of expressing it. Mm. Uh, for me, more traditional way of working, mm -hmm. but in a contemporary manner, traditional, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, which actually reminded me of so many other people. Mm -hmm. Are you uh, oil paintings or uh, acrylic paintings, acrylic, I think you yeah. said, mm -hmm. uh, of famous people, of Toreros, Figaro. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, as I said, it has got the uh, it, it comes near that you compare it with something you have seen in the 50s and 60s, mm -hmm. what Andy Warhol in New York did. Mm -hmm. uh, now, is that influenced by Andy Warhol? Is it not influenced by Andy Warhol? Or is it something totally different you're doing? Mm -hmm. I think you, um, there's always an influence, but I like uh, Andy Warhol paintings. Uh, I have a lot of painters I like. But I think I, I didn't want to copy any wall. Mm -hmm. I think it comes more from, uh, I was a big photographer. Well, just not a professional one, just for myself. And I liked very much to make photos. And I had a lot of photos made, which I, I, I was just thinking, maybe one day I will do something with those photos. For example, I can imagine a photo taken um, of a little, child, a uh, kid of, of a friend of mine, Alexander, he was three years old when we were sitting in her garden, my friend's garden, and little Alex Alexander took my sunglasses and just put him put here on, on his face and looked through them and I took a photo, and this photo I liked very much, and I, I uh, did a painting of this about eight, la eight year years later, and it happened, often happened to me. Uh -huh. And those paintings came from those uh, photos I've ta mm -hmm. taken, the impressions. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, um, really fun for me to, to make those paintings because uh, normally um, those paintings are three-dimensional. Dim mm -hmm. You show the three dimensions with shades mm -hmm. or shadows. Right. I'm not, not uh, painting with right. shadows. I'm just painting very reduced uh, with a little color, yes. or l bright colors, but let's say only with uh, blue and uh, yellow and red, and showing also the three dimension. Three I mean, we all now, coming back to what you yeah. all, we all know Andy Warhol's uh, images in different colors mm -hmm. of uh, Marilyn Monroe and whoever he did, mm -hmm. um, Elizabeth Taylor and so And there is a similar image, mm -hmm. which you did, mm -hmm. of Audrey Hepburn. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's mm -hmm. even in the catalog. I don't know if one can see it. Uh -huh. uh, perhaps this very being the brief. invitation card, yeah, for yes. the exhibition. Um, that means that there is the, the, the it, it just is obvious that one wants to compare. Mm -hmm. But Andy Warhol's work was screen, uh, what's it called, screen? Screen printing. Screen printing, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. in English. And are you also doing screen printing when no, you do no, work no. like this that? This is all painted by hand. Andy Warhol has uh, had a completely different technique. He um, kind of reproduced those paintings yes. on the uh, printed them on the canvas, on mm -hmm. the paper or whatever, mm -hmm. but I'm painting everything by hand. I'm working with the photos. I have the photo, uh, let's say, for example, I also made a very nice painting I like very much um, uh, from my, uh, showing my uh, brother and uh, me when yeah. we were young. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I took this photo and from the photo I made the big, big painting. Uh -huh. Or, yes. well, yeah. And that you, you actually paint those things mm -hmm. in acrylic. Yeah, and very big. And very big. Very big, yeah. Like, you know, if you go in a museum and whatnot in New York, yeah. you have got all the big paintings. You should be there then. Yeah. You should yeah. be represented. Well, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, that you paint all of those images mm -hmm. in acrylic mm -hmm. on canvas, mm -hmm. on paper as well, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also on material, or are you limited only to canvas and to mm, uh, paper? Cotton, the cotton material. Cardboard. Yeah, mm -hmm. car cardboard also, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That it, there is, a, again, a kind of it comes together. You, are, you work with your chicos, mm -hmm. you, and not only chicos, there are also uh, still lives, a lot of them, mm -hmm. like the one behind me, if one can see it. Uh, it's a very charming uh, still life so. of tulips. Mm -hmm. And uh, your more 
traditional or more kind of serious, I want, uh, let me say so, uh, works, they all, your technique stays the same. Mm -hmm. It's a grill on canvas mm -hmm. or on cardboard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, well, I'm it's the sure same, same handwriting. You so can rec as a, mm -hmm. uh, I think um, you can easily recognize that all those paintings, either uh, if you take those chicos or those mm -hmm. the lives or those um, more pop art yes. looking paintings, um, you can see easily that uh, those are all painted by me. It's the same stroke. It's like you, for example, writing your handwriting like like on the paper, <laughs> and when you write in big letters yeah it's it's yes. the same writing and i can recognize that you have written this with big red letters and and it's the same handwriting it's also with a right different you and we know more or less about mm -hmm. your two kind of practice ask you a couple of more questions mm -hmm. to light, uh, give, this one, give more background on your work and on your personality. And your works and your paintings, uh, they give an incredible image, as I already said, of liveliness, mm -hmm. of lightness, of jolliness. Now, when one looks at it, one thinks, what an easy thing, what an easy way of expressing oneself, and so positive. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe that only easiness brings you to the product you're, you're showing. When, when you finish, I mean, the finish process of, uh, the process of finishing a painting, is that always as easy as it sees, as it sees at the end when one looks at it? Or mm -hmm. Have you got any also serious not problems, but serious hard work when you do it. Yes, of course. And of please course, tell us how, yeah, of course. How do you approach it? Sketches. I'm, I'm, um, not. Well, you can pay um, either work on paper. You can make sketches. Uh, you can work on your mind before painting. Uh, just thinking and thinking and thinking how I'm going to work with this. And when you have a theme, for example, now I'm painting uh, an astronaut. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's now 30 years then that uh, the first man the landed on the moon. Next year, no? Yeah, yeah and, and I'm having an exhibition with the title of uh, Dreams, Sueños in Madrid. And this is also kind of dream manhood has. Manhood, is, is it correct? Yes. Uh, flying, being on all other planets. And... Uh, Mm, I tell you, I'm, I'm honest, I, uh, just for this painting, I was thinking and thinking about maybe four weeks until I made my first, uh, first sketches with colors and looking how, what, what I'm going to show. I'm, show. I'm now showing the moon and just a little bit of the earth and the very big astronaut standing in his... Not on mm -hmm. all his, it's um, just the center of the picture. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That means actually all your work is not always easily done quickly. Like it means it looks like you know. Yeah. Um, Some are done really quickly. Like yes. Like I have dancers that did maybe in five minutes, just a couple of strokes and so spontaneous yeah. comes yeah. out of yeah. you, and you just do it. Yeah, yeah, of course. But you take them as serious as if yeah. you have got really given hard birth. Yeah, both, both. Both. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, now. You're working in acrylic, that's another mm -hmm. subject I really would like to know a little bit more. Now, one hears more and more that painters nowadays that work in acrylic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, why not in the old-fashioned oil? Is it a 
kind of contemporary mode or fashion that one works in acrylic, or has it got also, does it help a painter to paint in acrylic or not in oil anymore, like mm. many, many hundred years? Mm. All the famous painters, they had their oil brush and, mm. and, and their canvas, mm. and work in that technique. Now, could you explain a little bit the difference of working in acrylic mm -hmm. or in uh, oil on canvas, both mm -hmm. of course iron canvas, mm -hmm. and why in acrylic now there's more than in oil? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I think I have to um, explain a bit what acrylics is. Acrylics, yeah. acrylics is not a material, no, only a material where you can make sunglasses off or tables yeah, or whatever. Um, acrylics is also, um, it, it, it's one of the raw product, product oil, like um, oil, oil colors are. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the basis. It, the basis, the basis. So it's mm -hmm. a very natural product, but the chain, uh, the difference, a very big difference to to oil is that you can dilute it with water, and this is interesting for me. I like um, I like the consistency. You can have acrylics as thick as the toothpaste uh, comes out every morning and every evening right. when you brush your brush your teeth. Or you can put a lot of water in it, and then it's as thin as watercolor. And you have so many different kinds you can you can use. Does it give the image of a watercolor then? Yes, of course. But it still can is look like an, an yeah. oil-based yeah. yeah. paint material. It, it, it can look like, for example, this painting behind you. Yes. This is uh, painted with quite thick um, acrylic, mm -hmm. quite thick. And it gives you the impression of uh, oil. For sometimes it's really hard to distinguish what is uh, oil and what what is acrylics. And you can also sometimes just put a little tiny thing on it, like the yellow. Mm -hmm. This with a lot of water. The, what I painted in yellow. Yes. That's what with a lot it's of water. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's. Very transparent, very... Then you actually have got a greater variety of effects with yes. acrylic than with, yeah. with oil. I mean, yeah. you can't, oil paint, you can't water down. Yeah, yeah. You just have of to course you can't, you can't. Uh, but in the other way, it's also very mm, difficult to work with this mm -hmm. painting because it dries very quickly. Mm -hmm. And not now when it's raining. Yes, right. it doesn't, now we have a lot of rain. Nothing, yeah. nothing dries it, at the moment. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> but... Uh, normally it dries very quickly and you have to work quick like how I tell you uh, because it dries and once it dry you can't take it off it's ha it has the same consistency as rubber it's on it and you can't uh, work on it you can't can't over paint it like you can do it with oil because it always would look it's quite nerve-wracking then to paint yes sometimes because sometimes. you have to really know what you're doing because there's no mistakes allowed yeah At sometimes i'm time. really shouting crying whatever or when willie our little dog comes uh, comes and 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 wipes with this <laughs> <laughs> over painting which is lying on the floor in order to dry exactly. oh i tell you <laughs> right you better leave the dog out then <laughs> yeah right Another question is, studying your paintings, all of them, mm -hmm. you have got an incredible sense of color. Mm -hmm. Now your colors are always charming, they're always bright, they're always positive. And what's amazing is that they um, complement each other mm -hmm. very well. It, the whole thing is a composition of color which doesn't really, it doesn't uh, give you a kind of a hard reaction to mm -hmm. what you see, like a contrast. Or so. Uh, they really uh, com uh, complement each other. Mm -hmm. Now, is it a calculated, fa a calculated fact, or do you just choose your colors spontaneous? Like, today I feel blue and tomorrow I mm -hmm. feel blue and yellow. Mm -hmm. To be honest, both. Both. Okay. Both. Please let because, us know. Um, well, um, sometimes I hate, let's say one day I want to start painting, I hate red. I can't tell you why I love, normally I love red, I love, love all those bright primary colors, mm -hmm. but sometimes I just can't stand red on the day. And then I don't paint, paint with red, but I tell you, when the painting is finished, I th uh, sometimes think there is just a little spot missing, maybe with red, it's like the salt 
in the in the, in the soup. In the soup, it's really the salt, <laughs> salt in the soup. soup makes the soup taste yeah. better. Yeah, you, gi you give your painting a little bit more taste. Yeah, to your really, own thing. really. Yeah, uh -huh. it's like like with spices, you just but that that you do uh, spontaneous. That's spontaneously, but I with uh, I also also sometimes I'm not working. Uh, spontaneously, I'm uh, just making sketches. Let's say, for example, the roaring deer. I painted an enormous, big, two by two meters, yes. uh, big deer. Or the, the painting is two by two meters, and I made a, m some sketches just for me to see how does it look with the red background, or or it ch it ch it changes so much. A painting can be really boring with the wrong colors. Colors give tension. They are very important. Then you've got a very healthy mixture of spontaneousness yeah. and your calculation, mm -hmm. what would be good for that mm -hmm. one or the other painting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, talking about spontaneousness, mm -hmm. we can now immediately go also in your themes. Mm -hmm. When you do your jiggles, I mean, mm -hmm. you have got... Do you know, before you start, and before you do your sketches on the canvas, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you know exactly what you want? Do you know the construction, the, m the, the, the happening mm -hmm. on the image, mm -hmm. or is it all just spontaneous? You feel like that today? Um, both. both. <laughs> Sorry. It depends. If I have a theme, for example, uh, what I'm also doing, I'm doing portraits. Mm -hmm. And um, it's more and more people know my postcards with uh, my brother and me and they like like it very much and they say well i'd really love uh, i'd love you i'd love to, you to to paint my kids can you do it of course i've made so many portraits already then i have a theme then i know okay i'm i'm painting uh, the, those kids and I'm taking photos of people sent me nice photos of their kids and then I'm, I'm painting those there it's now spontaneous, uh, spontaneous spontaneous it's it's, uh, it's spontaneous act. yeah I have a theme mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. but I tell you that always there is something uh, turning out different from what you thought before and it's nice mm -hmm. it's nice and with those chicos, um, I start painting sometimes, and 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 well, without ch thinking, I'm painting, mm -hmm. painting, mm -hmm. painting, and all of a sudden I have an idea which comes and which is like uh, telling a story, inventing yes, that's something. What, you yeah. what do you feel when you look at your chico paintings? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, they actually, they there is something happening. There's not something, some figure here and some mm -hmm. figure there. It's it's something is happening amongst all those. Chicos, chicas, mm -hmm. or whatever you call them. Yeah, it's a lot of stories. It's, uh, it's those story, uh, yeah. high life mm -hmm. paintings, with right. a lot of life on, or a lot of things happening on the paintings. Yeah, you're right. Now to finish the interview off, mm -hmm. there are two more questions, very oh. short to answer, <laughs> please. Um, one constantly hears about painters that they are confronted with a white canvas or oh horrible. Beef. Yeah. white uh, cardboard <laughs> or whatever. Is it really a horrible thing to stand in front of it and say, look, that white canvas has to have something on yeah. at one point? Sometimes, I can't tell you why, but sometimes it's horrible. It's horrible. Like the, now with, with those, uh, this astronaut I'm painting, um, I had the canvas. I'm also framing, I'm doing yes. framing myself. And I was looking at them and said, which colors I'm using. It already started with the colors, with the background, because with this technique I'm painting the background first. And it's sometimes it's horrible. It, you, go, you go like a tiger in, in the zoo from one mm -hmm. part to the other or just walking around the canvas. And sometimes it's so easy. You, you just make a stroke and then I can't tell you why, but it's the better of your own mood at that day. Mm, I don't think so. No? Oh, maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> oh, okay, let's keep that open. <laughs>
thank you very much for her, um, being our guest here today. Thank you. It Robert. was a great uh, interview, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And what I wanted to really know, and what I'm very really pleased to know now, is how does a very well known and very successful painter work, and how is it feeling to, and being a little bit more an insider to your work. Mm -hmm. We thank you for being here, mm -hmm. and we hope that you will join us again here, and uh, that we will hear a lot from you, mm -hmm. and through your work, a lot from galleries mm -hmm. who are exhibiting your work. Mm -hmm. But before you go, please let us quickly just know what are your next events, your next steps, like exhibition, mm -hmm. which you are working for, mm -hmm. you um, got exhibition sponsorship, mm -hmm. catalog, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Let us know a little bit about that before mm -hmm. we go. So first of all, um, I have uh, um, four individual exhibitions with the deputation of Malaga. And the first exhibition will be in Fulgirola, in uh, in La Casa de la Cultura, mm -hmm. the Fulgirola, at 20, uh, the 20, sorry, the 24th of February. So That's if very you soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quite soon, mm -hmm. quite soon, oh yeah. <laughs> so if you want to come, you're very welcome. And um, then I'll have an exhibition in Madrid with the Madridan Gallery, Galeria Arena Bowen, which is showing also my work in individual exhibition. Uh, it will be on 7th of May, and they are both making a very lovely uh, catalogs, so we'll have some new catalogs this year. And uh, well, now in February, I'm going to um, the fair in uh, Madrid. Madrid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that sounds all very exciting. I think you mm -hmm. have got enough time to prepare yourself for all that. It's quite a target. I'm working on it. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> you <laughs> seem to us as a very Productive lady. Yes, and I like working. Uh, yes. Thank you I very like much, Nina Thank you. Thank you, Albrecht. Thank you.